What's going on, everybody? Killing Cash here with another work break conversation. I want to talk today about the stress of buying a house, whether it be your first house or your tenth house or whatnot. Let's talk about let's talk about the stress of buying a house. Um, my guy Tyson getting his first house, whatnot, and um, I'm just I, it makes me reminisce to the first house. And the stresses that come with that, you got to, this is once they accept your offer and you're, you know, you're like, oh, wait, we're going to close. And you always think, man, this is going to close and it's all going to be good. But five to 10 other issues are going to pop up, no matter if it's a brand new house, if it's, you know, a house you got to renovate, if it's a house that you're going to flip for even for business, um, if it's a house in this country or overseas. There's going to be some stress to buying a house. Um, and, and, you know, one part after they accept the offer, then it's, okay, the appraisers coming through, you know, making sure everything was appraised, wasn't any funny business. <laughs> Woo! You get through that, you're like, okay, appraiser said this, said that, maybe there has to be adjustment here, has to be adjustment there. The stress of that alone brings the stress of everything else you do business-wise, work-wise, family-wise. If you have dogs, I don't have dogs, but I could imagine that you start looking at your dog funny and say, why are you eating all that dog food so quick, you know, because, you know, you're thinking about the money that you're about to put in, whether even if it's a deal, a steal, there's just a certain stress of buying a house. This is why having a good real estate agent is crucial. You know, those who try to just do everything on their own, the studies show that they do not get the best deals unless they are licensed, you know. And then it's always still good to have someone on your behalf. It's like trying to represent yourself as a lawyer in court or in PR and marketing. You're trying to do your own PR and marketing. You can do it. That's fine. You might be good at it. You might be great at it. But when you let someone else come and take the reins, you're going to see some type of progress. You know what we've seen nine out of 10 times, even for myself, I got to get people because you have to remove yourself you know they say doctors make the worst patients and it's that type of thinking that type of theory so all type of issues in the house until that paper is signed and they hand you the keys and then even after that there could be some issues people find out later oh there was a tax lien we didn't see oh there was this oh that's when you really start seeing if there's any issues with the properties hey what's up with this oh, I, this, this water heater didn't look so old this furnace didn't look so old hey we gotta push coal into this thing we gotta have firewood to make this house go warm um what the roof was replaced in 19 what you know all type of things i thought this was a brand new house <laughs> how, how was the roof here before the house it's just all type of things when you are buying a house so when you're buying a house make sure you have a good uh communication with your agent make sure you breathe pray because there's just going to be some stress to it you know and then for those who have bought houses and then you know even you know rent houses and homes or condos apartments all that you know you don't have that stress when you're in those condos whether you're in for short term long term you know you don't have that stress you're like man forget this stuff light bulbs breaking get maintenance up man you tell the owner come fix this you know what i mean um you know um or tell the owner if you're in a house house but that, that these are all the the things and if you get a house to rent you got to then take that mentality that these people are going to try to ruin my house. So what am I going to do? Am I going to do, you know, quarterly, annually check-ins? Am I going to bring a maid through there so, you know, the maid can be my eyes? She got the thing on the body cam or maybe we got the cameras on the smart house and, and I can spy in on my tenants, which that doesn't sound like, you know, that's hot. It sounds kind of weird, but that's the type of place we live in, a weird society, the weirdest city. Hashtag, you know what I mean? Hashtag weirdest city. I like that YouTube um that YouTube show, you know, I'm going all all around the globe, but when I when I think of something, I'm gonna say it, you know, see something, say something, think of something, say it, and you guys, you know, 
rock with me for that ride. But I want to let you know, man, getting that house is it, it's, it's something that every man I know, you know, he dreams of. He has to do. You have to do it at least once. And then you have to see if it's for you. It's kind of like real estate. You got to see what type of investment is for you. You know, you showing people houses might not be a thing, but putting money on the street, putting money on property, put money on different things that might be for you. Just like any investment, you got to find which investments work for you. You got that, B? So that's, um, that's that, you know, in that work break conversation. It's just so interesting. And I just remember how excited I was and, and you know, hearing other people do it. And, you know, and, and the stresses of owning a home. You don't worry about the pipes, the this, the that. But um, it's a beautiful thing to own a home. Beautiful thing to be able to provide. You ever need some money? You ever need to take the equity out? You got it. So that's my work break conversation for y'all today. I hope all become homeowners at least once in your life. See if it's for you. You know, um, there's nothing wrong with renting at all. You can, you know, there's still multimillionaires that rent. You know, they might live in what they rent. They might have property, but they it's just an investment. Or maybe that's not their stick. But y'all be blessed. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, man. Um, you know, we want to uh, support and give you guys this real business game, something you can apply to your life, like 90s hip-hop, man. We give you the game, not just, you know, making something sound good, but something you can apply to your life to come up so you can be the people that you admire. <laughs>